Oh, Drew, I see you have a handful of wires. Yes. Great. Yes, Thank you so much for getting those for me. Yeah, this is the important work I do down by the pallets. Oh, you get the... Get Stuff like this. Those. Yeah. What, what is this for? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I found it and it, you know, looks like it might be valuable. Yeah, I, find, I find pretty things, I bring them to you. <laughs> Crow, Jonathan befriended, gave him a few bits of bird seed, and now just brings some shiny things every day. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because it's got it's got like this, yeah. which I like, but then also this. I like that. Yeah, yeah that's very really nice. That, that's that's one cable there. splitting off into four there's cables. Four there, but then one there. Yeah. Uh huh. This is some sort of uh, that's USBs. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, that's boring. <laughs> I didn't like that part. I'm, I'm sorry you saw it. I should have. I mean, it's yeah. fine. It's just not special. Yeah. So thank you very much. This cable minute has been brought to you by Monster Cable. Monster Cable, when you absolutely need an overpriced cable immediately from a big box store. That's right. If I take this out of the, am I going to get in trouble? With God, you're going to ruin it. Josh, this is so, so going to be broken. Wait, let me do two things that are against the rules. Always hold it from the bottom. gonna break the radios. Uh, um, enough of this horseplay. It is time for day three morning announcements. Me. I love that Drew still has his backpack on too. I, hey, I'm working here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Today, uh, if you did not notice, uh, the luggage direct forms arrived in all of your staterooms. I know none of us want to think about the end of the cruise yet because it is still so far off. Like, there's so much that can happen between now and then, but uh, if you are new to the cruise or if you have forgotten, uh, Luggage Direct is a uh, program offered by the cruise ship that for a fee, you can put your uh, checked luggage outside your stateroom by, I think it's midnight or so. I think it's even earlier. It may be earlier than that. Uh, late, late night on the last night of the cruise, uh, and for a fee, they will take it and it will get sent all the way and checked onto your plane, so the next time you see that luggage is when you land back in your home airport. Um, but that said, while it's extremely handy, the deadline for it is tomorrow at 6, I assume that's p.m. 6 p.m., and make sure to read the terms on the form and to hand the form to the front desk. You can't just put it outside your room. Yes, and we have nothing to do with this program, and if you miss that deadline, Sorry, like, no. we can't help you at that point. No one can. They'll give you special luggage tags. They'll explain it. Yeah. Uh, so if you're, if you're into that, go check out that form and take care of it by 6 o'clock tomorrow. Speaking of forms, forms. Onboard booking for Joko Cruise 2024 is starting up tonight. And we're happy to announce that on Joko Cruise 2024, I'm going to have two of these things. Yeah. Uh, 2024, for those of you who might not have heard, is going to Grand Turk and Puerto Plata, a new port of call for us in the Dominican Republic, and once again to Half Moon Key. It is happening in March of 2024, and I couldn't get the website up on my phone quick enough to know the exact dates. <laughs> Does anybody know the dates of uh, 9th through 16th, maybe? Yes. yes. Hey, how about that? 9 through 16. Uh, so the onboard booking forms will be arriving in your stateroom this evening. We also have some of them just outside the theater. If you just cannot wait, uh, you can fill those out to, pre, uh, to book uh, on board for 2024. That's how that works. Uh, and also, uh, you can drop those forms off at the Joko Cruise info desk, is that correct? There will be drop off at the info desk, but there will also be the famous Bookie Monster drop box right outside the theater. You, you loved it so much, and it's back. You brought it back. Yeah. Uh, so we would love to see you back, uh, all of you back. How many, just out of curiosity, are already booked for 2024? Yeah, awesome. Uh, let's see. Bookie Monster's not outside of the theater. Right up there. Oh, Bookie Monsters is inside. Bookie Monsters is the monsters inside the theater. The call is coming from inside the Bookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Give it up for Cruise Mom Tara, by the way. Hardest working mom in cruise business. 
And congratulations to Tara, who spearheaded the assisted listening devices that you've been using for the yeah. shows. Has been working on the captioning. This is a project that she pretty much planned and executed from start to finish. So, which is the way I love proud. for things to work. It's I haven't. I know almost nothing about it. And actually, that um, that spider wire thing. That's for those headphones. Hey, it right charges them. So you see, you, you did help. Yeah. Well, I mean, I put them as far away from her and the headphones as I could. Perfect. <laughs> uh, report from the gaming team. The shipwide chess match is all tied up two to two. Oh, man. It's going to be a squeaker. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A uh, couple of notes. Uh, there's a lot of decorations on a lot of people's doors. And a lot of those decorations are explicitly designed to be taken, but not all of them. So please uh, do not remove anybody's door decor unless it explicitly says you can and or should do so uh, there by the door. Uh, we appreciate your enthusiasm for collecting, but sometimes that's theft. Yeah. <laughs> collecting things that belong to other people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, it did work for Indiana Jones, but I have the feeling that if you stole, like, a tiara off someone's door you weren't supposed to take, I bet it's not gonna end up in a museum. I mean, also, I guess don't steal an ancient idol from a cave away from the people who want it and worship it. That's not cool either. Yeah. It did make it, if they wanted to worship, they did make it pretty, they made it pretty inaccessible, to be fair. That's true. If they want to worship it, they can come to the museum. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's, Indiana, uh, that's Indiana Jones's position. I'm not saying that's yeah. correct. <laughs> anyway, we have top men working Probably on if it. they say they're a student, they can get in for just a couple of bucks. Yeah. <laughs> no blow darts in the museum, though. Please do not bring blow darts to the museum. Uh, there are a good number of fun events happening this evening, uh, including Jim Boja's uh, concert from a hat is going to be happening on the uh, aft deck. There's uh, the first of our uh, improv shows happening here in this theater late night. Most, most importantly, the following two items, Drew's Lost in Paradise Pride Party. Lost in Paradise! That's why I'm dressed up. I'm dressed up uh, both for the Lost in Paradise party, but if I'm being honest, also and maybe mostly for the Pushy Quarters tournament that's happening in the casino. Did Pushy we talk about this before, too? Yes. That's a lot of no. So, the Pushy Quarters machine is at the front of the casino. It's the best action in the casino. It's not, there are not great odds with no. the Pushy Quarters. But you it's know this the game, you put the, you put the quarter in, and then you think it's going to push the quarters out, and it doesn't. That's yep. the game. It's very fun. But yeah, we, it makes slot machines look very complicated yeah. for smart people. Yeah. 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 But we, uh, it's one of our favorite pastimes to gather around the pushy quarters machine and just throw money in it and act like it is the greatest party in the world and the most incredible thing. So this evening, and literally any time during the, the coming week, we want to absolutely fuck up the metrics of the casino. <laughs> by making the Pushy Quarters the most profitable machine on the ship all year. At the, at the end of this cruise, I would love it if the, if the corporate team at Holland America got together to look at the numbers, and based on the numbers, decided to replace all the slot machines with Pushy Quarters. <laughs> if there's a quarter on this ship that's not in that machine, then, it's, well, yeah, then the machine's broken, because it doesn't give the quarters back. <laughs> Uh, so plenty to choose from uh, for this evening, and tomorrow we're in San Juan. So we can get to enjoy your time uh, in port. And that ends tonight's announcements, except why once again, if you guys could move to the side, we have to discuss something. Students, I am very upset with you. Oh, here we go. This right here, we talked about the googly eyes on the artwork, right? Yes. No. Somebody says no. I said, I made you all repeat it several times. No googly eyes on the artwork. This right here is some bullshit. <laughs> you that, is vandalism. that is vandalism, pure and simple. Not only is it, va is it vandalism, but it's the worst kind of vandalism. It is passive-aggressive vandalism. <laughs> and worse yet, it's self-aware. Yeah. And it makes me, as a school administrator, very uncomfortable. We do not need meta-vandalism, people. 
people. I will turn this ship right around and take it home. Uh, close this curtain. I don't even want to look at that bullshit anymore. Now that ends the morning announcements. Drew, you can put the microphone back up for uh, our next performer. Uh, I have been a fan of his for quite some time. We are very, very thrilled to have him on the cruise with us. Uh, he has his latest uh, com have comedy special, People Pleaser, is streaming right now. So, no, don't go watch it right now, but you could. Uh, also, he was uh, the head writer for the Jesus and Mero show. And, not kidding, this is truth, earlier this week he interviewed Malala. And now he's here with us. What a left turn his career is taking. Please welcome to the Joko Cruise stage, Josh Gondelman. Keep you going for Jay, huh? Thank you. Sorry, I came out too early and it made it look like I demanded that someone come out and wipe down the microphone before I appear. Just like, mm-hmm, to my 